Welcome guys, I'm Al. And I'm Arash. And this is the Cult of Whiskey. All, All hail cow. cow. Today we're talking about the Abelauer Abuna. Wait, about a what? Who? <laughs> Let's take a look. Welcome back. So today's whiskey is cast strength. It is 59.9% ABV. It is non-chill filtered. There's no E150 attitude, so it's natural coloring. And it's aged in Spanish Oloroso Seri cast, and it is a beautiful, beautiful whiskey. I can't wait to get some. Let's take a look. So, the legend goes, while building the second stills, workers in 1975 knocked down a wall to find a bottle from 1898. The construction workers then proceeded to drink said bottle until it was more than halfway gone. Before they could finish it off, the master distiller showed up and confiscated the bottle. The Abelar Abuna is modeled after the remnants of this 1898 bottle, hence the name Abuna, which in Gaelic means origins. And what a beautiful origin it is indeed. Mm -mm -mm. So the reason we're drinking this whiskey today is because uh, last week we drank Aberlauer 12, mm. and you didn't have the proper respect for Aberlauer 12, all right? <laughs> didn't call it a man's drink, and so I, I enjoyed it. I wanted to show you uh, what a man's drink from Aberlauer really tastes like, and this is about to kick you in the sack, so. At 59.9%, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting ready for a kick in yeah. the sack. Yeah. Let's take a look on the nose. So. You're gonna get a little bit of that high alcohol impact, but you're definitely gonna get that sherry note because yeah. it's a f***ing sherry bomb, all right? Um, you, you know, to be honest, the yeah. uh, fact that maybe perhaps we let it sit out a little bit, yeah. I'm not getting the uh, high alcoholic uh, mm. burn mm. I usually get. Mm. Uh, perhaps it's the sherry. Yeah, yeah. You got that chocolate raisins that you always get. You get that cherry clove. You know, it makes me want to sing that song, that ch cherry bomb, like... <laughs> cherry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's almost like a like a smoked caramel. It is a lot of sherry. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. are uh, picking up a lot of different yeah. flavors outside of that sherry. Let's get a taste. It's definitely a man's drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cocktail of a man's drink. Yeah. It is, if you like uh, cast strength, it's definitely right up your alley. This is uh, strengthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's deep dried fruits. Oh, yes. And then like that sherry impact. It you is, know, this is a bit of a dryness associated to this uh, whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. almost uh, like a dry wine. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit strange. I didn't quite catch it yeah. until you said it and um, yeah, I feel like I just had a wine, almost, uh, with a kicker, that is. Yeah. You know what it is? This tastes like Christmas Eve to me. If I had to pick a Christmas whiskey, this is the one that tastes the most like Christmas to me. That's interesting. I would have gone with the uh, Nikkei we just mm. tried recently. Mm. For me, and I appreciate you thinking of me yeah. and proving that there's <laughs> Mandy drinks from this company. Yeah. Um, I find it too uh, overwhelming <laughs> to, to enjoy the uh, to enjoy the sophistication. I, I of course when I breathe this, back out, this whiskey I really is too enjoy... mild. This whiskey is too sweet. This whiskey is too strong. But you know when I do breathe out the alcohol, I can definitely definitely. I catch thought you were the, the big bad wolf, not Goldilocks. <laughs> I like my curls. <laughs> it's got an amazing mouthfeel, and. It's long on the finish. You know, this drink for me um, is the finish. The dry aftertaste. It just has so much flavor afterwards, mm. to be honest. After you get rid of the 59.9, all yeah. the alcohol, and then yeah. the oil start kind of, kind of dancing around your tongue a little bit. That finish. The finish is great. You get like milk biscuits mm. and like pepper. Yes. It's definitely Christmassy and warm yeah. in a wintry environment. Yeah. Well, it's definitely not summery like the Abelard 12. Mm -mm. Mm. This is not a cocktail. Mm. But it's f***ing good. This is a damn fine whiskey. Let's try a little water. I'm looking forward to that. The water definitely mellows it out. 
unsurprisingly, you could taste the sherry much more distinctively now, in my opinion, at least. I get almost like mandarin <laughs> oranges when I add water to it. Yes, it's, oranges. It's good Delicious. either way. Delicious. It's good, it's good either way. I think I'm trying on some ice. Takes out the sophistication, takes out the flavor, which um, you expect because of the water. Yeah. But, but if you want sherry, this has got sherry for days. Oranges, cloves, mm -hmm. sherry, all those flavors. Mm -hmm. It's very prominent. It's very mm -hmm. delicious. What is the price point? Price point is 80 to 100 bucks. 80 to 100 bucks. Cast strength, a sherry bomb. I mean, a great backstory. It's I, in, yeah. Thank you. You yeah. just took that yeah. out of my yeah, mouth. Yeah. It's, it's got it's got the story. It's got the alcohol. It's got the it's got taste. the look. Yeah, the bottle look. itself is just it's gorgeous. I love the yeah. wax bottle cap. Mm -hmm. It's uh, classic. Yeah. No, it's definitely uh, not quite tie a shelf, but definitely up there on the third oh, shelf. Yeah. I mean, it's got character for days. Character for days. I like it. Any other notes? Uh, I would prefer this over the cocktail. So you like it better than 12. Not, su not surprising. Well, our toast today is befitting a cast drink whiskey. Delivers evil and must be punished. All hail cow. It's my life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's not, it's not no, a... That was... It's just... <laughs> oh, shit.